today the 7th of uh, May 2024. Uh, this is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. This is not a dumpster. This is where Luisa Oyarzun, uh, the elderly disabled, chronically ill, epileptic Christian, <coughs> Christian uh, citizen of the United States uh, has been living from motel, uh, from motel to motel. This is uh, how she has been living. And uh, why? Because a uh, deep state mafia member wanted her apartment in uh, the government subsidized building where she used to live at 44 Center Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, 06702. And since he uh, wanted her apartment and uh, uh, he has a relationship with one of the building's workers uh, paid by the government. Uh, they kicked her out and gave her apartment to this uh, person, Samuel, who has a relationship with Willie Quiles, who works as a service coordinator at this um, government subsidized Section 8 building. After she had a uh, for recertification, for Section 8 recertification, which is uh, the section 8 within the building, not a voucher, and after she was there for four and a half years. Uh, this is how she has to live. She also had a lease uh, and was an excellent tenant. This was after they went to um, execute two hits, uh, well many hits on her, uh, and the hits failed uh, because we were legally advised to contact the news reporters uh, by a group of attorneys specializing in racketeering and organized crime. Uh, this group of attorneys legally advised us to contact the news reporters uh, and to only file the lawsuits, the federal lawsuits against these government employees and the federal government in the United States, but not to expect to go to trial because what the government is doing, they are hiring these atheist Christian haters uh, to force the Christians in the United States to um, join the organized crime and deny Christ or execute them, exterminate them, uh, kill them. So Luisa Oyar, so this 72 years old, elderly disabled epileptic citizen who has two cancer operations, two leaking heart valves, three stomach ulcers, osteoporosis, uh, multiple sclerosis, and uh, a severely injured spinal cord uh, refused to deny Christ and to join the organized crime and signed papers to defraud the United States government with millions of dollars by saying that she um, was, uh, was belonging to different welfare programs for which she did not qualify and uh, she refused. So this is how uh, she has been living and I have been living like that uh, with her. They left her without uh, three months of her epilepsy medication to see if she died that way from uh, convulsing to death. Uh, she didn't die by the grace of God. The one that they said do not exist. Uh, but I can assure you he does exist because she's alive because of his grace, infinite grace and mercy. After uh, that failed, then they created a sham. A sham is a, a fraudulent court case that um, a, a judge uh, and a lawyer, or a couple of lawyers in this case, they got three lawyers for this 72 years old Christian to uh, kick her out of the apartment, to home invade her apartment on March 18, 2024. Uh, and masquerade the home invasion, the burglary of her apartment, the ransacking her apartment and the stealing of whatever was left from the, the other two home invasions. Uh, they masqueraded that with an illegal eviction uh, and they <laughs> continue uh, processing, doing falsified paperwork, saying that she's going to court uh, and admitting that she didn't have a lease. She was there uh, in her apartment living uh, day by day and uh, she did not have Section 8. So what they do many times is they 
uh, get one of their impersonators, the welfare or the organized crime members, uh, to impersonate the victims, to go to court and say, yes, I'm guilty, um, I'm crazy, uh, I, uh, I am a drug addict, uh, an alcoholic, etc. Uh, but they never show the face of the victim because that, that's another person, not the victim. They did that with me uh, and they uh, have me as a person who is seriously, chronically ill, unable to speak for more than one minute, unable to write or read, and unable to, to do anything for myself. According to the, their paperwork, um, they have to uh, they had to uh, have to hire a person to bathe me and do everything for me for uh, a salary of uh, $95,000 per year to $200,000 or so per year. So they could do everything for me. And uh, they have another uh, team of workers for Luisa Ollarso, <laughs> supposedly getting uh, millions of dollars every year uh, for this team created to give everything that she needs to her. And she has been living in these motels for the last uh, two and a half, uh, I mean, one and a half month, almost, almost two months. So um, she has, uh, this is the third motel that she lives in because they, in addition to everything, um, the persecution consists of sending people to the motels to harass her, antagonize her, uh, and ask her for money, try to force her to give them money. I don't know from where because <coughs> they tell uh, people to prostitute themselves, the citizens, the civilians, to pro prostitute, them, prostitute themselves or sell drugs. Uh, she doesn't qualify for either one because she's 72 years old and she's, uh, she is too ill to sell drugs, to stand on the streets uh, and sell drugs. So um, I, at this point, I don't know what they want. Uh, well, I know what they want. They want to uh, kill her so they can continue to sell her identities yeah. and government benefits. They also wanted to, they also want to kill me because <laughs> they haven't paid me my work's pay uh, for three and a half years, which is $2,000 per week uh, because I do the three shifts taking care of this elderly disabled person uh, from eight in the morning until 4 uh, p.m., from 4 p.m. until 12 um, at night and from uh, 12 at night until 8 o'clock in the morning. So, so I am the one that has to, when they home invade her, home invade her, I have to um, move her, the, what is left of, of the furniture that uh, they destroyed. Uh, I have to uh, run the errands. Uh, I had to um, uh, rent the 20, 26 footers, 26 footer truck. Uh, and drive it. Uh, I have to unload it and unload it. Um, if I have to rent two trucks because they don't have a 26 footer, I rent a 20 footer uh, and have to drive it back and forth. So this is the situation of elderly disabled Christians in the United States who refuse to join the organized crime and deny Christ. Um, when she's at the motel, they since this criminal syndicate uh, has uh, money going into the businesses, they send one of the workers supposedly to check the room, but it's to check to see if Luisa Oyarzum is already dead because they have done everything to kill her. They home invaded her apartment uh, and we called 911 on each time as legally advised to document it because 911 is working with the government to exterminate uh, elderly disabled citizens who are Christians and refuse to join the organized crime. So they home invaded her on November 24th, 2020, uh, one, February 15th, 2023 and March 18, 2024. So they are consistent every year the home invader. Uh, they also accused me of kidnapping her on the first home invasion. Uh, funny thing that they did not uh, charge me with kidnapping, they charged me with resisting arrest, but they never mentioned what they were arresting me for. Mm -hmm. I spoke to the uh, lawyer of the family of um, 
uh, the African American that was murdered by the U.S. police, um, George Floyd, um, and uh, when I called his law firm, uh, I was told that these people who are doing this to this elderly disabled Christian and myself were refusing to stop being Christians and refusing to join the organized crime. Um, they have to go to jail. These, the words were, these people are criminals and they are supposed to be in jail. The reason why we don't take uh, her case or yours is that you are not African Americans and we specialize in African Americans um, killings and persecutions, not Hispanics. So after uh, Ben Crumb's uh, uh, <laughs> statements, uh, law firm statements, um, I decided to continue to do what, what I was legally advised by a group of attorneys that specialized in racketeering and organized crime who told me, and I quote, without a doubt, this is racketeering. <laughs> um, and um, many of these people are running for office, offered jobs to kill a pacific, uh, peaceful, unarmed civilians when they refuse to do whatever they say, whenever they say it, and however they say it, and with whoever they say it. Um, I was offered three to five million dollars to uh, leave her and leave her uh, to, to to die in their at their hands, and I refused. So automatically, I became a target. Anybody who helps us in any way, shape, or form, as uh, you know, and I have shown in previous videos, are shot at uh, like one of uh, the individuals that helped us move um, and he helped uh, us move only once. He was shot at uh, and the bullet uh, that came through his window missed his head for about half an inch. So it's, um, a, it's a, a miracle, he's an African-American, it's a miracle that he's still alive. Uh, he moved away <laughs> and he doesn't want anything to do with uh, them or us because uh, he knows that this is uh, the deep state mafia which many people do not know about but after this video I think that you will uh, and this is the situation they say they claim that they provide everything the elderly disabled citizens here in the United States that worked for their benefits uh, and contributed to their benefits uh, need um, but it's a lie. Everything is a lie. They uh, use their names and they use their uh, identities and social security <clears throat> numbers to um, uh, put a lot of millions in government employees packets and then execute these people. Um, they sell their identities to illegal aliens, undocumented aliens, uh, because there's a difference, I was explained, <laughs> um, and also to citizens of the United States who uh, want an extra four or five pensions for which they did not work. Uh, and these citizens belong to the mafia, of course, the deep state mafia. So <coughs> Excuse me, so this is, as you can, uh, see and as i showed you i think in other videos this place is full of roaches uh, this is nowhere to live um, but they do the motel staff do what they can with the money that they're given everything is obtained and, and sucked by the government employees that are running the mafia the deep state mafia and kill the elderly civil citizens uh, at the request of uh, the mafia heads. Um, I was also explained that the mafia meets in different places with masons from the Catholic Church uh, and they decide who lives and who dies in Waterbury, Connecticut. They have different places where the masons uh, meet with the uh, police chiefs, um, attorney generals and other uh, people that decide who lives and die here uh, 
in the United States. In this case, we were living in uh, Waterbury, Connecticut for the last four and a half years, almost five years, and they were meeting uh, the Masons that meet with these people, these assassins, uh, were meeting at different places. I think they gave me five locations, four or five locations, but at least three locations. So this is the situation. And this is Satan. Uh, this is how Satan is working. Um, they get upset and go to your house and hit the Ten Commandments that you have posted in your door, on your door, uh, at least 60 times, which are next to the image of Virgin Mary and our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and they are uh, la laughing uh, um, compulsively, and then they stop for a few seconds and get very angry and then they continue to laugh uh, very com compulsively. So I was explained that this happened when uh, people have high doses, high dosage of drugs and alcohol. And when they do um, these home invasions uh, to execute hits uh, ordered by the Masons and the chief of police, uh, which are uh, ordered by uh, the higher ups um, and I say the higher ups because when I was illegally incarcerated once in the Bronx uh, New York City uh, I asked who ordered uh, my illegal incarceration and I was told uh, quote unquote it came from the tap so I was never told who was uh, the tap but this is what I was told so this is how uh, people uh, who worked dozens of years of their lives and paid their taxes and did everything right. Uh, this is how they have been living in motels rooms, motel rooms and uh, in this situation. Again, uh, Luisa Oyarsson is not alive because of the government of the United States. The government of the United States have ordered her execution many times. She's alive because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and on one occasion, um, she woke up in the middle of the night uh, and I asked uh, what happened. She said, I dreamed, I had a dream, the, the heart of Christ, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ uh, spoke and I saw our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, I was told by him uh, the only, the reason why you're alive is because i saved you because uh, on the first ordered hit on november 24 2021 um, they were going to kill you the police who have news reporters working for them and with them <laughs> uh, channel three uh, rings, uh, uh, rings a bell uh, we're going to say that uh, you killed Luisa Oyarsson and then they had to kill you because you became violent because of course you are, uh, well, he, he, she didn't tell me of course because uh, you were crazy. So this is how they arranged things. Funny thing that uh, they have me in the computer as a very dangerous Mental Ill, mentally ill person. However, I have been taking care of a person of Luisa Oyarsson for the last 23 years. Luisa Oyarsson, as I said before, uh, has two leaking heart, heart valves, three stomach ulcers, two cancer operations, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, problems with her pancreas, her liver, um, and a severely injured back. She also has problems with her kidneys. Uh, because they leave her with infections, urinary tract infections, which can point, uh, which can make a hole in your kidneys and kill you. They leave her with those uh, urinary tract infections whenever they can, and I don't report that to the news reporters for a year or more than a year. So, if I was so mentally ill, how this person has been li uh, has been able to uh, live? Uh, or survive for 23 years while under my care. Of course, the government of the United States, who ordered the execution 
her execution and mine is going to claim we have dozens of people uh, taking care of this woman uh, for the last 23 years we have different teams they call it teams that provide everything for her if these teams however provide everything for her what is she doing um, borrowing money and paying for four hundred dollars for motels for motel rooms for the last three and a, uh, uh, one and a half months almost two months uh, they also claim they have her custody in mind because we are cr uh, gravely ill is the legal term <laughs> gravely ill is that you are not able to do anything for yourself uh, like um, Jordan Neely that was killed in uh, the subway of New York City because the teams that the Department of Health and Human Services of the United States had taken care of him was not uh, was taking care of it of him only on paper just like Luisa Oyarzun and myself um, they were packing the money uh, the social workers the nurses the psychiatrist of um, uh, George uh, Jordan Neely uh, and then that tragedy uh, with Mr. Penny Daniel Penny occurred uh, because on paper uh, the government is taking care of everybody but on paper the real re the real thing is going on that that is going on is that the government employees are ripping off the united states government and the taxpayers by faking uh, taking care of people when in reality they are stealing their identities and government benefits like m medical insurances in this case maybe home care medicaid which is the one that is supposed to pay me we, which have been paying me for the last three and a half years, but the DSS commissioner has been diverting the payments from my checking account into his checking account and his staff members' checking accounts, bank accounts. <coughs> so this is the situation. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to document uh, what I, I am saying and show you uh, as I was legally advised to do. This is how we've been living for the last two and a half, uh, uh, one and a half month, we went to the different government agencies that were supposed to issue a voucher for her, uh, for her to stop being homeless within 73 hours. They never, e well, they issued many vouchers. They also got um, the money from the taxpayers for the first month rent and the, the security deposit of an apartment but we have never gotten the apartment, we have never gotten the vouchers for Luis Yasun, and we have never um, obtained any help. It's only on paper, so they can take that money from the taxpayers and put it in their packets. I'm talking about the government employees that the government of the United States have working for the government of the United States. Brothers and sisters in Christ, please pray for this country because the people who are doing this with the Masons and other uh, other people do not know that when, <clears throat> excuse me, a country doesn't do what God's law says, honor your father and your mother, uh, don't steal, uh, don't bear for false witnesses, um, uh, the fourth commandment, the fourth commandment of God, the seventh commandment of God, the eighth commandment of God, and the other commandment of God, when the country does, does, does not, re, when a country doesn't respect God's laws, it has biblical courses. Uh, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, if we don't fix this, uh, nothing good is going to come uh, from our country. Uh, and I know that you guys, the, the government employees who are defying God, and committing these crimes, this genocide against elderly disabled citizens uh, who have done nothing but to be Christians. I know that you watch my videos because you uh, have said so the first time that you home invaded Luis Saul Yasun's apartment and I had hidden cameras waiting for you to, to speak and to record when you were vulgarizing her apartment. And that's how you got mad because I gave those videos to the news reporters. But anyways, I know that you watch my videos because you, you yourselves have said that you watch uh, my social media. You also hacked 
uh, my accounts, social media accounts, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, and the other social medias, uh, TikTok. Uh, and for, this is for you. Stop violating Christ's laws. Stop violating God's laws, or you will bring biblical courses over the United States. What happened in Oklahoma and the tornadoes and the other things that happened in the United States are not by chance. They don't happen by coincidence. Stop um, violating God's laws. Stop defying God and rejecting his uh, beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and go back to God. Or you will bring biblical biblical curses uh, to your country. I know you don't care about your country uh, or uh, anybody, but if you don't care about your country, uh, know this. The Bible says that when you defy God and you violate his, his um, commandments and his laws, uh, you will bring, bring biblical curses to you and your family for five generations. So it will be you and four generations of your family. Check that out, it's in the Bible. Uh, and I don't have time to go into details, but you can check it for yourself. Brothers and sisters in Christ, please uh, go back to God. Uh, we love and forgive you with the love of our Christ. And we truly love and forgive you with the love of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we want our government benefits. Uh, I want my payment uh, through the AFL, Adult Family Living Program, which is a welfare program, uh, pro a public assistance program, because I need it just like the DSS commissioner needs his check. I need my payment for my work. And Luisa Oyasu needs her uh, home care Medicaid back, her Medicare Advantage plan with United Healthcare back her food stamps, uh, her $300 uh, per month, or so more than $300, and um, her government, her, the rest of her pension, because right now, uh, you, uh, uh, the government employees who are ex uh, trying to execute her, um, are taking more than half of her pension. She's supposed to get $2,904, and you're only giving her $1,000, three hundred and ninety dollars uh, and uh, you're also preventing me from um, going into the Social Security Administration because I recorded your employees committing fraud so you fabricated a charge uh, and never took me to court or had a trial to find me guilty and found me guilty without due process uh, to prevent me from um, going into the Social Security Administration Office, which is a violation of the United States Constitution, which says that everybody is uh, innocent until pro proven guilty. So uh, please fix that too. And brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, Luisa Oyasun and I cannot access our Social Security accounts online. Uh, and we are citizens of the United States. That's also a violation of our constitution. Um, the reason why she cannot access her social security account is because somebody else has her identity. They're giving her SSI and the other person who did not work dozens of years of her life, uh, paid her taxes and did everything right, which is probably an illegal person, mm -hmm. is the one that is receiving her, her patient. Uh, this needs to be fixed. Please do so. Brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you and have a blessing rest of the day. God bless you.